Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about magnesium and high blood pressure or hypertension. And what is the stance by the FDA regarding food labeling regarding hypertension and magnesium? So let's get right into it. Magnesium is good for moods, migraines, premenstrual syndromes. It's involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions Therefore, it's important for protein synthesis, nerve and muscle function, sugar regulation, and blood pressure. Okay? What types of foods have magnesium? Things like avocados, nuts, seeds, spinach, whole grain, legumes, yogurt, salmon. What is the RDA recommendation for magnesium? Ages 1 through 8, 80 to 130 milligrams per day, 9 through 13, 250 milligrams per day, an adult male, 430 milligrams per day, and an adult female, 320 to 360 milligrams per day. Now, most adults do not get the minimum requirement or the minimum RDA requirement of magnesium. What that means is they usually will need to supplement or change their diet in order to get the proper levels of magnesium into their diet. Now, I have a separate video on magnesium itself, all the different forms, uh, dosages, etc. Um, so I want to link that video below so you can watch that video. So this will make a little bit more sense to you. Now, what does the RDA or the FDA say? So there's extensive research on cardiovascular disease and magnesium, especially with hypertension. So the FDA came out in January of 2022, and it basically says it will not, it does not intend to restrict claims of benefits of magnesium and hypertension. So this, the, the statement really says, if the food that you're eating, or the whatever packaged food, has more than 20% of the RDA, or 84 milligrams, up to 350 milligrams per serving, then they can make the statement of, it may have potential benefits to hypertension. They can't claim that it reduces hypertension, but they can claim the likely benefits or potential benefits of magnesium and hypertension. That's big in a way because they started to recognize that there's extensive research out there for magnesium, and they're acknowledging that, but they don't want to come out and say that it cures or, or takes care of hypertension. Now, there are other studies, right? They've used 240 milligrams per day for uncontrolled hypertension. What that means is a person who is on a medication for hypertension can take 240 milligrams and it will reduce their systolic and diastolic uh, blood pressure. Now, for the untreated hypertensive patient, they can use up to three, 600 milligrams or more to help manage hypertension, right? So these are the studies out there, and I'll link those studies below. Interestingly enough, they say dose matters more than the type of magnesium. So it's not the type of magnesium that you're taking that's going to lower your blood pressure. It's the dosage that's more important, right? Although one can argue that certain magnesiums have uh, benefits, like magnesium citrate is important for, let's say, constipation. Magnesium glycinate is a good form for general health and magnesium absorption. Magnesium L-theanate can be great for nerve function or brain function or calming the mood and sleep. So there are other benefits to these types of forms, but the basic idea is that the dosage matters more than the actual form of the magnesium to reduce hypertension, all right? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.